Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see a generator called Mask Builder in the Substance Painter software. So right now what I've got is uh, the sample file from Substance Painter, Meet Matte. So I've assigned some uh, simple solid color material and there's nothing uh, in this. So to start with, I would like to take a new material here, okay? So, uh, sorry, new fill here. So I'm going to select that and uh, I'm going to choose some uh, dark color and then increase the metalness and then also the roughness of this material, okay? I've got that here. And then I would like to add uh, one more layer. I'm pressing Ctrl D for that and reduce the glossiness and then change the color slightly bright there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the height of this so that I get some uh, cavity there. And then let's add a um, mask, any mask would do. Then fill and then choose a, a texture called black and white spots. So I would uh, preferably choose which is a bit contrast and then try playing with this scale, okay? So you're able to see you've got this nice uh, rough material. So I'm going to take this uh, color on top of it and in height, I'm going to choose this to normal so that you'll able to see this uh, solid, okay? So this is a material arrangement. One is having the chrome behind it, which is uh, rough. And uh, maybe you can uh, try reducing or playing with the height if you wanted. So this height is way too much. And then I just keep it subtle and then come back here. Okay, so this is the base material what I have. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mask on it which is any mask would do. So I've taken a white mask and then I'm adding a generator. And in generator, I'll be using mask builder. So there are so many generators here. They are like a customized version of the mask builder, a preset version. But mask builder is like complete control uh, for you in terms of getting all that things here in one uh, generator so I'm going to pick that so once I've applied the mask builder you're seeing this so let's explore this mask builder and uh, you could able to see the, there's a seed which is uh, random okay uh, we can try changing the color for some time just to make it look clear you can take any color which is quite contrast so I'm taking this one and then come back to the generator. So you have level, okay? You can play with the levels, which generally controls this um, wear off. It's only coming at the curvatures and ambient occlusion I could see. Okay, so I'll put this value to 0 0.5 and then we have contrast, which makes it more sharp and soft. So let's put that to 0 0.5 and then we have invert which will make this whole mask reverse and I'm going to do that and it looks pretty good with this nice inverse so we have a triplanar uh, use that so I'm using the triplanar so if not what happens you know this grunge map we are using here on top of it let me try seeing this I'll increase the grunge here. Then you should be able to see that grunge happening throughout the model. And this grunge is uh, basically placed on UVs. So when you say triplanar, it projects from three different planes so that you won't get that same problems, UV problems. So once you have used triplanar, you have this option called triplanar blending contrast so if I reduce that you should be able to see a line I don't know where I 
I go to the grunge and see the scale value. Okay, you should be able to see a line here. You should see that. So this is because a plane projecting from the top, a plane projecting from the side. Let me even uh, work with the contrast. level okay you could see that clearly now that line so when i say triplanar blend contrast reduce that starts blending if not you will see that line clearly uh, it's the top plane and the side plane are projecting textures and they are not blending so we just blend them and then they look nice okay so we uh, it's like triplanar projection so you have grunge and uh, you are uh, multiplying the amount of grunge you want apart from uh, you have your uh, uh, you know curvatures and ambient occlusions so grunge is an extra layer you're adding and the grunge texture is controlling the size or scale of the texture like repeats and then you have a uh, secondary grunge and uh, you have two grunges defaultly there is a grunge map in the mask builder uh, apart from that you can use your own custom grunge and how do you do that okay firstly i would like to uh, tone down my chrome layer so i'm going to make it more dark and then make it less metallic do that for both the layers okay and then I would like to select the layer and then reduce the height very subtle so that you could see it clearly and just I'll make it rough that's fair enough I'll just go, come back to the mask builder and you could able to see use custom grunge option and then secondary custom grunge value so it means there is a default grunge map here. I can use two uh, own grunge maps apart from this. So how do I do that? Just uh, use custom grunge. I should make it on. But before going into that, add a map to that. How do you add that? Scroll down all the way down into the image input section. And then you have custom grunge 1 and custom grunge 2. So go to the custom grunge 1. And then choose your texture what you want them so i would pick this checker so that you can easily identify this so i've taken in the grunge the custom checker texture and then i'll go all the way up and then say use custom grunge so instead of this uh, default grunge which is there in the mask builder it is using a grunge which you have picked here okay so you can control the size of that grunge if you want it. Now if you want to use secondary custom grunge then what will you do? Go to the same place okay and you have custom grunge to input and then connect a different grunge map here. So I'm taking cells which is this. So it's not showing up because I need to increase the custom grunge value here and then that adds up to this you can inverse that custom grunge if you wanted to so that's how it is and uh, you could see the scale value is affecting both the textures at the same time that's what uh, this grunge is doing so i'm switching off the grunge and then controlling the scale so this one also off so this is grunge for you and you want the grunge and you don't want the grunge it's up to you switch off that switch on that just by a slider of values now you have uh, um, after grunge you have ambient occlusion as you know ambient occlusion is uh, basically uh, a pass or a, a map which we render in 3d softwares mainly it identifies the shadow regions render that shadows on a white object so these all regions are basically 
occlusion regions where the ambient light may not reach so if i switch off that uh, that area is not painted anymore because that's the area where the ambient occlusion shadows will be and then you can go to the ambient occlusion and then you can control the range and you can also make them contrast okay and also you can make it noisy okay and uh, if you want to make it inverse you can inverse it okay this is noisy you could see that's adding up that all texture so that's uh, ambient occlusion is then we have curvature which is this tip here which is going to control so we have uh, the curvature settings again you have uh, two areas covered in the uh, curvature map one is convex region and another one is concave region okay so if you don't want the convex regions to be covered you can switch it off okay and uh, concave region you can switch it off so you can use that uh, uh, sliders to control and you have contrast settings to them and you want to invert them you can invert also so you have a gradient top to down gradient option is there so if i increase this uh, you are making it gradient but uh, i'm worried why this total object is filled okay what we will do is we will go to the options here and then we use this top intensity okay and bottom intensity so we control that bottom intensity and then only pick this to happen on the top side only okay now when we go to the gradient section we have the range which we can use them let's say you want to show that uh, there's a lot of dust uh, formation on this you can use this maybe i can show you that uh, with a different layer okay so i'll switch off the top to bottom gradient off and then choose this to inverse and then pick a dark color so that it's a just simple metal object now i'm going to add a new layer on top of it okay this layer will be dusty okay like that and then this layer will be rough fair enough now let's put a mask then put a generator and then choose the mask builder and then as you could see we have grunge we switch off the grunge there we have ambient occlusion we do that off we have curvature we'll put that off then we'll put the top to bottom gradient value 1 and then we increase the top intensity or sorry bottom intensity and then control the range there okay so you can just put that on the top side try playing with the curvature or ambient occlusion that gives more organic cutoffs in these areas and it it looks pretty organic so you can select that layer and then reduce the opacity just to give that nice overlay so that's the top bottom thing we have here so yep and you have that four ranges controlled down and lastly we have a scatter so you can put scatter on top of it let me bring back my bright color that looks good i should able to see there are uh, patches going on here for the scatter okay so they are scattered all the way and then you can control their size you can control their density okay and size randomness opacity randomness 
all that so it looks like a square patch so it doesn't look really good so what i'm going to do is scroll down all the way down and search for scatter input and then choose some alphas okay which are uh, sort of scratch or rugged patch or something like that maybe i i try to pick this for a while then connect it there and you should able to see that is scattered so what we can generally do is try putting this cracks and uh, you can go to the scale add more density and then randomness okay so you could add such uh, textures uh, which is an additional uh, thing on your model okay so whatever you have done you can apply to the other parts of the model just by selecting them copy and coming to the next object paste and next object paste so based on okay based on the uh, occlusions and all that stuff the map which we have baked we get that nice uh, wear and tear on the model so um, that's how you generally copy things from one object to other and apply the same thing if they are separate however the mask builder is the purpose we have made this video explore that it is like generators looks all same but um, mask builder is uh, basically having all that elements we had in the other generators